Camille Saint-Saëns was racked with pains when people addressed him as Saint Saints. He held the human race to blame because it could not pronounce his name. So he turned with metronome and fife to glorify other kinds of life. Be quiet, please, for here begins his salute to feathers, fur, and females. The lion is the king of beasts and husband of the lioness. Gazelles and things on which he feasts address him as your highness. There are those that admire that roar of his in the African jungles and fells. But I think that wherever the lion is, I'd rather be somewhere else. <laughs>
leaves of myrtle. I know the tortoise is a turtle. Come carve my name in stone immortal. I know the tortoise is a turtle. I know to my profound despair, I bet on one to beat a hare. I also know that now I'm a pauper because of its tortly, turtly torpor.
birds and some are whales. People like dimples, fish like scales. Some fish are slim and some are round. They don't get cold and they don't get drowned. But every fish wife fears for her fish what we call mermaids. They call merfish. <laughs> disparage everybody else's marriage.
Puccini was Latin and Wagner Teutonic, and birds are incurably philharmonic. <coughs> Suburban yards and rural vistas are filled with avian Andrew sisters. <coughs> the skylark sings a roundelay, the crow sings the road to Mandalay. The nightingale sings a lullaby, and the seagull sings a gullaby. That's what shepherds listened to in Arcadia before somebody invented the radio. <laughs> circus of mammoth polkas and mazurkas. Pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mastodonic wassail, I caught the eye of one small fossil. Cheer up, sad world, he said, and think. It's kind of fun to be extinct. <laughs> Thank you. 
The swan can swim while sitting down. For pure conceit, he takes the crown. He looks in the mirror over and over and claims to have never heard of Pablo. <laughs> Thingling. <laughs> 